Hey, the GPS must be off. This is not a Dollar Tree, it's a Dollar General. All right, well, since we're here, you up for comparing the General to the tree? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The General uh, sounds like maybe they're in charge of deals. We can go check it out. Yeah, the tree is peaceful, calm, more my style. But I'm willing to check it out. I don't know. Do you guys want to come along with us and do a Dollar General shop with me? Or with us? Sure. Yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody. It's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3 and... Bill. All right. So, Bill, throw the car in park. Uh, shut that wonky GPS off. And we will get ourselves into the Dollar General. Although, maybe... Since it's a new store to us, we may need the GPS to navigate it. I have no idea. We'll see what's going on in there. I hope you guys will come along and join us. What do you say? Let's go. Let's go. Let's check this out. Right inside the door to the right is this little patriotic party display. Eight plates there with the blue truck for three dollars. I like this price, 16 napkins for a dollar and that print is adorable. Here are the flag plates, an eight count for one dollar. Ooh, I like this print. One dollar for 16 of those. Very picnic-y appropriate. And all of these glow uh, like bracelets and uh, little wands. Look at this, a little gnome glow pendant. One dollar. That's a great price. Great for 4th of July. Fireworks displays. This is a star plate. Again, eight plates for three dollars though. That's too steep for me. Two fifty for these little paper bowls. I do get those for a dollar twenty-five with the Dollar Tree. But I do like the dollar on the napkins, that's for sure. And they have the smaller beverage size here too. For the dollar, you get sixteen count in those. All right, so I just started, went in the store, went right, and we're just gonna see what we see as we come across it. Here is a little end cap with like uh, their true living outdoor items, a little fairy garden things. Here's some odd ends, ends like little signs. These are $1. This birdhouse one, welcome home, that's cute. This is like a uh, plaster, little patriotic plaques for $1. And then these are little garden stones, they're calling them. And they do stand up, as you see. And again, $1. I mean, you know, the quality is okay. Some little angels. Now, these are really light. These I expected to be heavier, like the garden signs but they are all just one dollar. Now four dollars though for this um, fairy and three dollars for these signs. So I gotta say that's the thing I love about the Dollar Tree um, in my area. They're the ones that aren't the dollar plus no question on the price of anything. You know it's you bring it up to the register and it's going to be a dollar twenty-five. So I'm not used to being in a store like this where I have to check the price of all the items. 
Bill found a little ball pump here for one dollar and what's nice about that is it does come with the needle so lots of you know mishmash this store obviously has a little bit of everything so you're just going to experience it right along with me stuff is all kind of just mixed up here and there four and five dollars for those signs yeah see three dollars that is I'm, I'm just not used to paying that much guys I'm gonna tell you I just I just couldn't do it five dollars yeah I just can't do that even sometimes at a dollar twenty-five I gotta really you know think do I need it do I want it but at these prices four dollars five dollars much easier for me to say no thank you but I can understand the appeal of this store because if you live in an area where you don't have a lot of other options, the Dollar General literally has everything. So, um, you know, items, food items, decor items, uh, health and beauty items, medications. So, you know, they have a little bit of everything as you see. This little pig butter dish is sweet. He's $5, he's ceramic. Now these are cute for a buck. Little like, uh, they're rolling pins, but they're flat, obviously. But we got a lot to see in this store, so that's why, guys, I'm kinda moving quickly because this place is huge. That is a glass tumbler with a bamboo lid. And this one is like a ceramic. But you see, there's just stuff like everywhere. Signs, glasses, mixed in with towels. So unless you know exactly what you're looking for, I think you could come in here and spend a lot of time to find what it is you're looking for. All right, let's catch back up with Bill, but not before I look at this little sweets on the end cap here, and these are a dollar. Sweet Smiles. Made in Colombia. Those are like the peppermint puffs. All right, but back to see what Bill is checking out in the food aisle let's see what type of prices this is a whopping box of cereal my goodness it is over a pound for 350 and they got a bunch of name brand cereals on the shelf here i think that's the largest size box of cheerios i've ever seen one pound two ounces it is five dollars Honey Nut Cheerios, or the Honey Nut Toasted Oats. It's their knockoff brand, obviously, and it is $2.25. Clover Valley Cereals. Tennessee, Clover Valley. So it looks like Clover Valley is the Dollar General's like store brand of items. Toaster pastries, $1.25, so that's comparable with my beautiful Dollar Tree. So I'm noticing some of the stuff is less, but some of it is more. And see, it's tricky because I thought those were a dollar, but then in reading the label, the label is for something else, for um, uh, flavored water. So again, see, do I bring it up to the register? What is it going to ring up as? I don't know. Pot holders. Now these are one dollar, the microfiber dishcloths. So this is a nice little display of dollar items and the quality on these feels quite nice. And they get some rubber spatulas here but all I'm seeing is the letter J. 
Did they used to have U-L-Y to spell out July? I don't know. But now there's only J. So if your name starts with J, you are in luck. Okay, so these, are they just a dollar? It looks like the tags are matching up for these canned beverages. Now, the Pure Life, though, look at that, $2.25, and I pay $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So you definitely have to watch it. Some stuff's going to be more, some's going to be less. And the food, for me, is where it really can get tricky. you got to know your prices. Okay, so the marshmallows at a dollar. Now that is a savings. Although I think I saw them at Walmart, I want to say for 98 cents. Now these bags of semi-sweet morsels. 350 for the Nestle brand, and I think three dollars for the store brand. Or if you get the semi-sweet mini ones, you only have to pay 250. Look at this, the uh, stuffed pup. Do you see the price on that? $4.25. Those are still available at my Dollar Tree for $1.25. But spices, the majority of them are a dollar. So that would be a savings. Bill is checking out the coffee. And he is letting me know he's found a deal the little uh, sticks of instant coffee. They have the taster's choice there for just a dollar. So that's a 25 cent savings. And they also have the Folgers for one dollar. All right, what is this? Looks like their little discount uh, section, I think. Like clearance, I guess that's what it is. I don't know if I have the patience, guys, to kind of paw through it because it literally is like one of a thing. I don't think they're returns, but I'm not positive. I haven't had to buy kitty litter in years, but I know many of you um, are parents to kitties, so I thought I would show you that they do have quite a variety of cat litter here and uh, 20 pound containers different prices seems to average around $13 and right here is some pasta again the Culver Valley brand so a dollar to 25 so it depends on the size box they have their um, egg noodles but again, those are a higher price than at the Dollar Tree. Now, they have this uh, Herdes. Bill loves this brand. So, $1.95. I'm not sure about save instantly the dollar, how that works, but that is a great brand. We buy it when we find it at the Dollar Tree. You can see a bunch of different salsas. This avocado hot sauce is another favorite of Bill's. And um, $2.85, and we have purchased that for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So we'll just continue on and look at some of the food items here. This is name brand Lipton, the onion soup mix. They have these Hungry Jack uh, little containers, a dollar, so that is a 25 cent savings. But then these are a dollar 35, and so that's 10 cents more. So that's what I mean. You have to really watch your price because you know you pay a quarter less for something, but then if you buy a bunch of stuff that you pay a dime more, maybe it all ends up evening out. I'm not really sure. Like a dollar thirty-five, I just picked that up for one twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. But now look at these two twenty-five for these little bumblebee kits, and I get those at the Dollar Tree all the time for the buck and a quarter. So just be aware of your pricing. That's what I would recommend. 
SpaghettiOs $1.50, again, a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. So, but I think if you know your prices and, um, you know, what you can pay for these foods elsewhere, then you can compare and do smart shopping. These are $1.50, it looks like. Now this is a good price though, the movie box theater candy for $1. I like that. And the Imperial Nuts are just $1. So that's a quarter savings from the Dollar Tree. Little cookies here, some fun little snacks. And they have bread. So they have some name brand bread and then their Clover Valley line also. All right, let's see what else. So all of this stuff, $3, two for eight, $1.50, that seems steep for that small amount of cookies. Yeah, all right. Chicken and a biscuit, but these are the name brand ones, $3.95. Their knockoff one is $3. Man, Dollar Tree, you got to get me your chicken crackers back. I'm going to buy four boxes the day they come back into the Dollar Tree, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, those are the cheddar cheese crackers, $2. So those are like a cheese it but a Clover Valley brand. It looks like, I was like, why do they have the drink mixes locked in a cage? but it's just a cart in front of it. But doesn't it look like they have it locked up like it's a high-end item? <laughs> but you were able to move that and get through to them. The majority of them are a dollar, so those are a good deal. All right, let's see what else. This place is huge. Huge, huge, huge. Look at all these aisles. Bill's checking out the pricing of the pet food. A dollar ten. I think that's less than the grocery store. Yikes, two twenty five for my glade spray. Strawberry Sunday Fun Day. That sounds like a nice scent, but I don't want to pay the extra just for that scent. Some wax melts. Those are four bucks. All right, look at this though. Five ninety-five for the three trees, and I just showed you guys those at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five in the really fun prints. That like galactic tree. $5.95. They had them for $1.25. Score Dollar Tree. And these 35 disinfectant wipes. Better price at the DT. The cleaners, some are the same, some are more, some are less. So again, just know your prices. But that's what we got to do wherever we shop, right? Bill can't find his mallet anywhere, and I'm telling you guys, he already owns that. I don't want to buy another one until we look further. All right, and $2.15 for the felt pads. I just showed you all kinds of those at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. The same thing, the cable ties, $2.85. Get them for a buck and a quarter. I know I'm sounding like a broken record, but if you're not new here, you know how much I love the Dollar Tree and its prices of $1.25 are even less for some things at my Dollar Tree. But look at these stickers are catching my eye and it says they are $1 and they really look rather nice quality. I'm very impressed. 39 stickers there. Those are superhero ones. 
Now this, 54 of the little puppies, cute. But save two bucks for those. They're $1.25, you know where. <laughs> the Suave Shampoo, same thing. I have found that at my Dollar Tree. But now larger items like this, you know, if you have a Dollar Tree Plus, they are starting to get into more things like this. So you'd have to compare the prices. These bathroom mats are eight to $12. You know, obviously these shower curtains are more than a dollar 25, but they also are thicker, better quality than the dollar 25 ones at the Dollar Tree. But if needed, you could, you know, do your weekly shopping in this store. So I think that's what sets it apart. So thank you everybody for checking out a fun new store with us. Bill and I will be back again very soon with more Dollar Tree fun, along with some other stuff too. So remember our dear friends, until then, please be well.